Hidden Signs of Norovirus, Expert Guide to Symptoms, Treatment, and Prevention. Welcome to the official Global RPH YouTube channel. I am Dr. David McCauley, PharmD. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest videos. Today we will be covering the norovirus including symptoms, causes, prevention, and when to seek medical intervention. Norovirus, often referred to as the stomach bug or winter vomiting bug, is a highly contagious viral infection that affects millions of people worldwide each year. By the end of this video, you'll have a thorough understanding of this common but often misunderstood illness. Did you know that norovirus causes approximately 19 to 21 million illnesses annually in the United States, making it the leading cause of foodborne illness? This highly contagious virus is responsible for about 50% of all foodborne disease outbreaks in the U.S., primarily spreading through contaminated food, water, or contact with infected surfaces. One crucial finding we've uncovered is that infected individuals can remain contagious for up to two weeks after symptoms resolve. Furthermore, the virus demonstrates remarkable resilience, surviving high temperatures up to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Understanding norovirus symptoms, treatment and spread is crucial because the virus can survive on surfaces for days or even weeks, especially in crowded environments like nursing homes and cruise ships. Furthermore, with symptoms typically appearing within 12 to 48 hours after exposure and lasting up to three days, recognizing early warning signs can help prevent its spread. We recommend immediate medical attention if certain warning signs appear. Symptoms lasting beyond three days, inability to keep liquids down for several hours, bloody stools or severe abdominal pain, signs of severe dehydration, Norovirus is a genus of viruses belonging to the Calisiviridae family. These viruses are the leading cause of acute gastroenteritis, a condition characterized by inflammation of the stomach and intestines. Noroviruses are notorious for their ability to spread rapidly, especially in closed environments such as schools, cruise ships, and healthcare facilities. There are six recognized genogroups of norovirus, labeled GI through GVI, G1 through 4. Of these, GI, GII, and GIV are known to infect humans, G1, 2, and 4. The GII genogroup, G2, particularly the GII, 4 strain, is responsible for the majority of norovirus outbreaks worldwide. Norovirus infections typically manifest with a sudden onset of symptoms, usually within 12 to 48 hours after exposure to the virus. The most common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain or cramps. Secondary symptoms include low-grade fever, headache, body aches, fatigue. It's important to note that symptoms can vary in severity from person to person. Some individuals may experience only mild discomfort, while others may suffer from more severe symptoms that can lead to dehydration. Understanding how norovirus spreads is crucial for preventing outbreaks and protecting yourself from infection. The virus is highly contagious and can spread through various means. Primary transmission routes. Fecal oral route. This is the most common way norovirus spreads. It occurs when an infected person doesn't wash their hands properly after using the bathroom and then touches food, surfaces, or other people. Person to person contact Direct contact with an infected individual, such as shaking hands or caring for someone who is ill, can lead to transmission. Contaminated food or water. Consuming food or water that has been contaminated with norovirus can cause infection. Aerosolized vomit. When an infected person vomits, virus particles can become airborne and infect others in the immediate vicinity. Environmental persistence. One of the reasons norovirus is so difficult to control is its ability to survive on surfaces for extended periods. The virus can remain infectious on hard surfaces for up to two weeks and on soft surfaces for several days. This persistence makes thorough cleaning and disinfection essential in controlling outbreaks. Diagnosing norovirus can be challenging because its symptoms are similar to those of other gastrointestinal illnesses. However, healthcare professionals have several methods at their disposal to confirm a norovirus infection. 
Clinical diagnosis, based on symptoms and the presence of similar cases in the community. Stool sample analysis, using reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, to detect viral RNA. Enzyme immunoassays, these tests can detect norovirus antigens in stool samples. Electron microscopy, while less common, this method can be used to visualize the virus particles directly. Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for norovirus infections. Management primarily focuses on symptom relief and preventing complications, particularly dehydration. Supportive care, fluid replacement, oral rehydration solutions, or in severe cases, intravenous fluids. Rest, allowing the body time to recover and fight the infection. Gradual reintroduction of food, starting with bland, easily digestible foods as symptoms improve. Medications, antiemetics to reduce nausea and vomiting. Antidiarrheal medications, used cautiously and only in certain situations. Pain relievers to address headaches or body aches. It's important to consult with a healthcare provider before taking any medications, especially for children or individuals with underlying health conditions. Given the highly contagious nature of norovirus, prevention is key in controlling its spread. Several strategies can considerably reduce the risk of infection. Personal hygiene. Proper hand washing. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after using the bathroom, changing diapers, and before preparing or eating food. Hand sanitizers. While not as effective as hand washing, alcohol-based sanitizers can be used when soap and water are unavailable. Food safety. Wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly before consumption. Cook shellfish and other seafood to appropriate temperatures. Avoid preparing food for others when you're sick. Environmental cleaning. Use chlorine bleach-based cleaning solutions on contaminated surfaces. Pay special attention to high-touch areas like doorknobs, light switches, and faucets. Isolation. Individuals with norovirus should stay home and avoid contact with others for at least 48 hours after symptoms resolve. While most people recover from norovirus without complications, certain groups are at higher risk for severe outcomes. High-risk groups include young children, elderly individuals, people with weakened immune systems, individuals with underlying health conditions, potential complications, severe dehydration, malnutrition, exacerbation of existing health conditions. In rare cases, norovirus can lead to hospitalization, particularly in vulnerable populations. Certain environments are particularly susceptible to norovirus outbreaks due to close contact between individuals and shared facilities. Healthcare facilities, schools and daycare centers, cruise ships. Researchers are working on developing vaccines against norovirus, with some candidates showing promise in early clinical trials. Efforts are underway to identify effective antiviral treatments that could shorten the duration and severity of norovirus infections. To address common concerns about norovirus, here are answers to frequently asked questions. How long does norovirus last? Symptoms typically last one to three days in healthy individuals. Can you get norovirus more than once? Yes, immunity is usually short-lived and there are multiple strains of the virus. Is norovirus the same as stomach flu? No, norovirus is a viral infection while stomach flu is a colloquial term for gastroenteritis, which can have various causes. Can pets get or spread norovirus? There's no evidence that pets can be infected with or spread human norovirus strains. How effective are hand sanitizers against norovirus? Alcohol-based sanitizers are not as effective as hand washing with soap and water for norovirus. Norovirus remains a significant public health concern due to its high contagiousness and ability to cause large-scale outbreaks. Individuals and communities can better protect themselves from this common but potentially serious illness by understanding its symptoms, transmission routes, and prevention strategies. As research continues, we may see new developments in treatment and prevention, but proper hygiene and prompt management of symptoms remain our best defenses against norovirus. Thank you for watching our Global RPH production.
If you found it enjoyable and informative, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our brand new YouTube channel. Our content spans a wide range of topics designed to appeal to a diverse audience, ensuring there's always something fresh and engaging for everyone. Stay tuned for more exciting